Hello everybody. So this is Cooking with Coach D today. So I am just going to do real quick. I'm cooking with Coach D today and I'm just going to really quickly, let's see. Um, go on. Today we're having salmon, pan seared salmon, and we're having red roasted potatoes and we're having broccoli. Okay, so I'm just going to show you real quick. So um, I've already seasoned my red roasted potatoes. I just seasoned with some rosemary, a little seasoned salt, some garlic, and some pepper. Okay, and so this is what they look like. All right, can you see? Can you see? Okay, and so I preheated my oven to 400. Um, it's not quite preheated all the way, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. And so those are supposed to cook for about 45 minutes to an hour, okay? And you toss them maybe once or twice just to make sure that they brown a little bit, okay? So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on my pan-seared salmon. So I don't know if you guys have ever had pan-seared salmon, but it is amazing. Um, my family likes the pan-seared salmon. So what I've done is I have put, um, I use grapeseed oil, so I have put some grapeseed oil into um, the pan, and I am going to pan sear some salmon. And while we're doing that, I'm also going to cook some broccoli, okay? So we're going to multitask today, okay? Um, let's see. Uh, maybe I'll wait, okay? Um, but in any case, we are just waiting for our pan to um, heat up so that we can um, pan sear our salmon, okay? Now, I like to do baked salmon too, but um, pan sear, the family requested pan seared salmon today, so that's why we're doing pan seared salmon. And so I've taken the salmon and it doesn't have any skin on it. I get my salmon from Sam's and I've cut them, if you can see, I've cut them into like little chunks, okay? And I've seasoned them with some pepper, um, some um, Cajun seasoning and some garlic, okay? That's what we're having on our salmon for today, all right? And so what I usually do is I, I you know, wash my fish a little bit, I season it, toss it, and then um, I use grapeseed oil and I'm gonna pan sear it. So I hope you guys enjoy because this is gonna be really good. Okay, let's see. Okay, we want it to get our, um, our pan to get, you know, not hot hot but pretty hot because we want to get a good sear on our salmon okay see i got my rag i have my rag when i'm cleaning um so i don't know if you guys kept um caught um i was talking the other day and i was talking about some different things that you can do during this time to boost your metabolism not metabolism but to boost your immune system and one of the things that we were talking about is we were talking about um things like fatty fishes like um tuna and salmon that you can have that can help boost your immune system that have all kinds of vitamins in it vitamin d um in those types of fish so that you can boost your um immune system okay so we're having salmon today and we're having broccoli as well so i think our pan is about ready let's test it is so we're gonna put some of them in here Just like this. When you hear that, that lets you know that it's going to sear pretty good, right? I'm going to bring it to you and take it off the stove real quick so you can kind of see what it looks like because I'm working by myself today. Okay, so you see that? Okay, you see that what we got going on right there? We got it searing up. Okay, and we are going to let that sear. Okay, um, and usually when you um, are searing um, salmon, you kind of... Um, I wouldn't say, I don't know how long I would say I'd let it sear, but you kind of sear it until you kind of see that the salmon turns like a, a pale peach, a pale pink color, and that's when you know, okay, it's really starting to cook, and then you can flip it over on the other side, and you can begin to cook it, right? Um, cook the other side, okay? So you want a nice little sear on there, um, and you can check it, you can check it, okay? When you're cooking it, okay, 
Okay. I'm flip this one. Ooh, yeah. Flip that one. And you want to make sure because you don't want them to stick, right? Because you want to make sure that you're washing it real good. I'm going to flip that one. Okay. And again, some people use olive oil, but I like um, grapeseed oil is what I like. Okay. Flipping that over. And don't worry, I'm going to let you guys see what it looks like when it's done. Okay. All right, so we're just pan searing the salmon right now. We're letting it sear a little bit, okay? And we are just gonna wait for it to finish searing. So, we are back, okay, and uh, we're almost done with the sear on the first batch, okay, and you don't want to sear it too much because you do not, at all, you do not want dry salmon, nobody likes dry salmon, okay, alright, I know I don't like dry salmon, okay, And you can about tell when it's done. If the salmon is a little bit too spongy when you, when you, when you press on it, then that means it's not all the way cooked, all just quite. But you want it a little firm. Okay. Mmm, this looks so good. Pan seared salmon. And you're going to see it's going to be a pretty orange color. You are going to love how it looks, okay? So remember, I seasoned it with a little um, garlic salt, with a little thyme, with a little rosemary, and then I put a little Cajun seasoning and some pepper on it, okay? Then I use grapeseed oil, but you can use um, olive oil if you want to. I use grapeseed oil. And then I put it in the pan and I let it get a pretty good sear on it. So I would say that it probably took about maybe five minutes to sear it. Okay. So that it would be done all the way through. Okay. And I would say that you put your pan on about medium to medium high. Okay. So that you can get that good, that pan pretty hot, okay? So I'm just going to take it out. All right. Get it on out. And I am going to turn this stove off. Wipe it down a little bit. Wipe it down. Wipe it down a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to switch it out because I am now going to do the broccoli for you guys as well, okay? All right, so while you're waiting, I am going to show you what our salmon looks like, okay? Okay. So we got pan seared salmon here. All right, it took us about five minutes to get it done. Okay, and let me tell you some different things that I do with this pan seared salmon when I make it. Um, like tonight, we are just having it with um, a little broccoli, um, some spinach, and I'm gonna do some mushrooms as well get this real quick looking for my parsley there it is okay 
So let me just tell you um, something that I also do with the salmon as well when I make the pan sear salmon. Another thing that I also do is I do um, salmon po' boys, okay? Salmon po' boys. And salmon po' boys are, they're amazing, okay? These salmon po' boys I just take the pan sear salmon, I make homemade tzatziki sauce with a little Greek yogurt, sour cream, cucumbers, and some dill and some lime juice, okay, and a little bit of kosher salt, and then I take these, I take some nice soft hoagie rolls, and then what I do is warm those rolls up, put the salmon in there, and then I do a little shredded lettuce, um, I do a little red onions, a little feta cheese on there, and then I top it with a little bit of tzatziki sauce, and it makes amazing salmon po' boys, okay? All right, so we have our pan is ready for our broccoli. So I am going to put some of our broccoli in there. Now, I do put a little water in mine. Okay, I put just a little bit of water in mine to um, get it to, you know, cook. Um, and I will use a top and put on. So I'm going to put a little garlic salt. So in the pan was butter. Okay, we have butter in the pan. I just take it up a little bit. So we have butter in the pan with, uh, and now we're putting a little garlic salt. And... We are going to put a little bit of pepper, okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a top and put it right on there and let that cook. So, while that's cooking, we are going to look at this salmon, okay? Can you see that? Mm. That is our pan seared salmon. Ooh, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Should I taste a piece? Should I taste it? Ooh, that looks so good. All right, I'm gonna taste a piece, okay? Mmm, mmm, so good. Look at that. Right in there, it's still juicy. Mmm, still juicy? Mmm. That's good. Mm -mm. Wow. That's good, y'all. I can't wait to eat. It's going to be good. Okay. And I am going to finish cooking the rest of it once we get off here because I didn't want the live to be too long. Okay. So. Our potatoes are cooking. They're browning. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to take me a little spoon. Okay. I'm going to come over here and check on my broccoli. Ooh. Okay. So I'm just going to toss it a little bit. Toss the broccoli. Okay. And it does not take long for fresh broccoli to cook, okay? So this was not frozen broccoli, okay? This was um, fresh broccoli, okay? Fresh. And so I'm going to put the top back on this. And actually, our broccoli is done. Okay. I'm going to use it and put it in this bowl. Okay. Our broccoli is done. So it only takes the broccoli, I would say, maybe five, maybe seven minutes um, to cook because you don't want to overcook it. I know I don't like mushy broccoli. Because guess what? When you take it off, look at that. It is still going to continue to cook. 
if you put it in whatever you put it in is gonna still continue to cook um, it just is so look at this broccoli can y'all see that mmm that is fresh sauteed broccoli okay fresh and sauteed and so is somebody saying probably you want to want to taste it let's taste one mmm that's good mmm that is good so listen you're not gonna be able to see the potatoes until after they done I'll take them out and let you see them real quick as they're cooking this is what they look like okay ooh they're gonna be nice and roasted okay they smell amazing mm. so but listen I hope you have enjoyed me cooking with you I'm gonna take this off and talk to you guys I hope you've enjoyed me cooking with you um and again we did pan seared salmon today and we did some broccoli on today and so it was good it was amazing um and so if you need the recipe just hit me up and let me know and say hey i want the recipe for that um and i can send it to you um but i just want to show you an ending picture just going to put this on the plate together presentation may not be all that but just so you can see an ending picture okay we got an ending picture right here so um yeah see what it looks like mm. that is what our ending product looks like okay so i'm signing off all right and so i hope you guys enjoyed cooking with coach d on today and remember it's not just a workout it is your life and eating like this is not just something you do on occasion it is a lifestyle you got to want to eat good because these types of things help boost your immune system we're talking about the salmon and the broccoli and stuff like that so i will see you guys again soon